Well, I hope you enjoyed playing on the Absolute Mode if you got your hands on the SL4 from somewhere. Well, as Absolute Mode, as we explained to you, is sort of more CD player and mixer dependent. Let's just shift a little bit of weight to the laptop, a little more weight, I would say. The laptop right now is just doing a simple thing by putting your songs and giving you a visual representation. Well, it can do way more than that. That is the relative mode. Let's just shift a little bit of weight on the laptop. You have a fantastic MacBook Pro or a very good Windows computer which you're using. You know, it can handle all that power. Then why not just, you know, let these guys go free a little bit and push it over there. Well, the relative mode. That is the mode which I always perform on. I think it's one of the best modes on SL4 and it's a must use. Once you get addicted to the relative mode, trust me when I tell you, you will not go back to playing on any other mode or even playing just on pen drives or CD players. What is the relative mode? It requires a little bit of homework in the beginning because you know you need to set your cue points and get a little set. But once you're at the show, your mind is free from all that stuff. So all you need to basically concentrate on is your music, the people on the dance floor, which song you're going to be playing next and of course your creativity which you can show while the party is going on. So let's look at the relative mode. Well, it's always good to even take another link with some music, you know, it just gets you a little bit more interested. Well, what we have is a song playing over here and it's starting with the beat. Remember, I just told you in the previous shot that, you know, uh, you need to do a little bit of homework before you go. Well, the homework is basically setting your cue points. It's very, very easy on the SL4. So let's take a look at that right now. Basically, I know that the song is going to be starting with the beat. So basically, what I need to just do is set my cue point. It's a one-time job. Once you set your cue points, you're all done. Well, these cue points are also called cue points, hot cues or whatever you want to know, you know, you want to call it. It's really just fun setting your hot cues and then spinning at a party. Well, basically, I know the song starts with a beat. What I just need to do is set my CD player on the vinyl mode, not the CDJ mode. And all I have to do is hold my platter, stop the song and rewind it to the first beat of the song just like this. How do I know I'm getting to the first beat? That's right, the visual representation on the screen. So I just go back, rewind the song, go all the way to the beginning, to the first beat, and all I need to do is hold my platter there, go onto my laptop, and just press the first play cue button. There you go. My cue point is set. Now, the magic begins. What do I do? Press one button on the laptop and see what happens. Well, there you go. That's what it is, your cue button. Like I said once again, that this cue button will take a little bit of time. You know, when you have so many songs, you need to transfer them and set your cue points. But just imagine the amount of mind and free time you'll get while you're mixing so you can interact with the crowd, enjoy your own music which you're playing. And just imagine you don't have to press the headphones to your ears and, you know, just try to find the cue points and everything. So this is what queuing and relative mode is all about. All I need to do is set my cue points and there you go. The fun thing about SL4 and the cue points is that you can't only set three cue points like you can on a CD player. It only got three modes, three A, B and C to set your cue points. Out here you can set up to five cue points at five different places in the song. Well, let's take a look at that. We'll set the cue points and let's see what magic we can do with it. My song is going. I'm going to set my second cue point now. So when the music started, that comes to our second cue point. Let's take a look at one more. We got a change coming up at this rise. Well, that could be my third cue point. And we know where it comes out. Take the vinyl mode, click it, and that's your third cue point. Now, let's play around a little bit. Well, that's the way you use relative mode. Well, another really good thing about the relative mode is that once you've loaded your track, the first time the track might take some time to load, but after that, once it remembers the track and the track is on your hard drive and it's been played once, the track will keep getting the cue points back, your hot cues, everything, the software will do the needful. 
even when you are looping you don't on the cd players when you are looping you have to be absolutely precise and very careful on how you loop the tracks out here because the song has already been played the software remembers its bpm it remembers what the song is like and how it flows the looping becomes much better it becomes way more precise so even if you make a mistake while looping the software handles it manages it and does the looping on its own so let's take a look look at the looping on the sl4 relative mode first we get the in 1 2 3 4 and then the out 1 2 3 4 4 loop done we are all set and the same part will go on again and again properly managed precise because sl4 has taken away all that little human error which comes when you are looping a track and this will just go on till you don't release it let's say while playing this i just want to jump back to another point in the song let's say in hot cue number 2 very very easy just go there and 2 3 go and the best part of this whole thing that when the song comes back to the same spot again your loop is on so the song will start looping again and again at the same spot just the way you set it well you might be wondering that if you are just going to set up cue points and all that stuff and you know the hot cues and we can do all that with the cd players what is the advantage of having the sl4 well the fantastic thing about the sl4 is that once your cue points are set it remembers it all the way take for example a song like this it starts with sort of a synth and the beat comes a little bit ahead well there you go the beat is here now if i was in the absolute mode or if i was on the regular cd player every time i had to wait for that much time listen to the first beat press the pause button and cue it and do the whole thing all over again well the sl4 the good thing is that i already done my homework i heard this song in my studio or at home before i went for my show i checked out all those points where i wanted to set Now the good thing in the relative mode is that if I shut down my laptop, reopen it, reopen the software, whatever I do, I just load the song, and the minute I load it, the song starts exactly from its cue point. So I'm on the relative mode now. Let's listen to the song. If I just load it up, and The song just starts exactly from the first beat from the cue point, so you don't have to waste any time, you know, going ahead, setting your cue point all over again or anything. Well, another good thing is that let's say I've played another song on my uh, computer, and we listen to the song. The song is playing, the crowd is dancing, everything is going fine, everything is fine. Let's say after loading that song, if I want to load back the song which I previously played again, the song which I already set my cue points to at home when I came. all i have to do is just take the song drop it in over here and then starts from the first cue point that you set so the good thing is that every time you load a song it's not that the cue points are just remembered but the software automatically starts the song from your first cue point so you don't even need to go there and press a button on your laptop to get to the first cue point the minute the song is loaded first cue point on all you need to do is release listen pitch pitch bend and start mixing well those are the advantages of the relative mode in the next episode when we come back we look at the internal mode on the sl4 well how would you feel if you're at a party and you wanted to loop a particular spot in the song and you know you tried it at home and that particular spot with the loop sounded really good and you got it perfect but at the party with all that crowd and all that emotion and you know the enthusiasm you just couldn't get that loop right well the amazing thing about the relative mode you do the loop set it at home or at your studio before you go for the show you load the song open the software load the song and bang the loop is set